Hi guys, I am teaming up with the folks at Schwartz to bring you a selection of delicious recipes that rely on an explosion of spice to make them even more delicious. From everyday dinners to irresistible snack foods, over the course of this series, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to bring quality spice into your kitchen. Now, this recipe is one that relies on an electric mixture of spices, creating a numbing spice mixture that coats crispy chicken wings. It is essentially one that I tried in Mission Chinese in San Francisco. It is so good, but this is kind of my simplified version of their fantastic recipe, and it really is one that results in addictive snacking food. So, we're gonna start off with the mix for our chicken wings. And this is a bit of an interesting one because we wanna make our chicken wings super crispy, but I'm not gonna deep fry them. Instead, I'm gonna bake them in the oven and to get that sort of really crispy exterior, I'm going in there with two tablespoons of baking powder and one tablespoon of salt. Now, it seems like the strangest combination of ingredients, but what that's gonna do is dry the moisture of the chicken and essentially give you gorgeous crispy skin, and that's exactly what we're after. So this mixture in the bottom of this bowl is our secret ingredient to crispy chicken in the oven. To that, I'm gonna add in our chicken wings. So these go straight into the bowl, and you wanna get them nicely coated in all that baking powder and that salt. Okay, we have chicken pieces nicely coated and good to go. These get laid out with a bit of space between them on a wire rack set over a roasting tray. Now the trick here is to make sure that the heat gets all the way around your chicken and that's why I have it sitting out on this tray like this. They're gonna bake off at about 200 degrees Celsius, that is 400 degrees Fahrenheit, just until they are crispy and golden. We're gonna baste them with a little bit of oil to ensure that they get a really nice golden color. But for now, they need to start off their little time in the oven. So to the oven we go. Right, while the chicken wings are in the oven, we need to talk about this spice mixture, and it is an electric numbing spice mixture that I have a tendency to use on most chicken dishes now that I've learned how to make it. It is so delicious. And it's gonna start off by toasting up some spices. I've got some Szechuan peppercorns, and I've got some cumin seeds, and these are gonna go into a hot, dry frying pan. When you are toasting your spices, make sure that you have a frying pan that is dry, there's no oil in there, and they're gonna basically toast off until they become really fragrant and aromatic. So two tablespoons of my cumin seeds and two tablespoons of these Szechuan peppercorns, which really is where you get the numbing flavor in this fantastic spice mixture. And you can smell, even as these go straight to the pan, which I need to turn down, they just become electric. I've got some red chili flakes. And these Schwartz red chili flakes are absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of fennel seeds, straight in there, and then two star anise, which again has that sort of numbing flavor that is going to be essential for these chicken wings. A teaspoon or a tablespoon of salt, and then basically toast this just until they become fragrant and aromatic. And you can see the smoke erupting from the pan now. We're in business. This is starting to just <coughs> waft up your nose. That's the sort of spice I'm talking about right now. It is really, really fragrant and really aromatic. So this is looking pretty good right now. It only needs a minute or so. And once you're at this place where it starts to become fragrant and your kitchen is filled with aromas, we're gonna get this straight into a food processor and all over the board as well. But that's all right, I'll clean up later. These go straight into our blender. We do need a little bit of sweetness in this mixture, so I have some light brown sugar. This goes in here as well, and it's stuck in the bowl, but that's okay. And then all you gotta do is blitz this up until you have a nice, fine powder. And it's this fine powder that is gonna coat these chicken wings and bring them to a whole new level. So let's get blitzing. Okay, let's have a look. This is looking pretty good. This is where you want it to be. The minute you lift off that lid, you just get hit in the face with spice. And you can only imagine when you toss crispy chicken wings in all that flavor. It's just gonna be so good. So we've got that. We're going to slice up some chilies and some spring onions. And we're gonna add in the spring onions with the spice mixture and toss it all to coat. Right, we have chili, we have spring onions, we have that gorgeous spice mixture, and I'm gonna grab our crispy chicken wings out of the oven, and let's get serving up. Okay, this is the success of that baking powder salt mixture, because look at the crispy exterior you get to those chicken wings. 
really super crispy and gorgeously golden. And the trick to making them gorgeously golden is brushing them with a tiny touch of oil halfway through the cooking time. You'll get that really rich brown color. Okay, so we've got our chicken wings looking good. We have our spring onions and our chilies. I'm gonna get them straight in a bowl. I'm gonna get our chicken wings straight in here and then we're gonna add our spice mixture. This is where this all comes alive. And the great thing, if you were having people over for dinner, this would be the thing that you just throw together and stick straight to the table and everyone tucks in. It's that kind of food that I do get a little bit excited about. So we've got our chicken wings looking pretty good. That spice mixture is also quite handy to have. You can make this and store it in a little jar and it'll keep for months. So it is a handy little mixture to have and it really results in numbing chicken wings. So just dust those chicken wings with that spice mixture. You do have to add a little bit more than you'd think. And then we're gonna toss them and get them completely coated in all those gorgeous spices. So come on in, let's check it out. Oh yes. So I'm just gonna serve these up into a nice big serving bowl, get loads in there and pile up all those great spices and spring onions and chilies and all the great things that are part of this recipe. And the best part of this is that I finally get to try some of this gorgeous chicken covered in all that spice. Mm. Mm. What's really interesting as you tuck into these chicken wings is that there's a slow build. You get the spice, you get the sweetness of the sugar that's in there, but then there's this sort of heat that builds from the chili flakes, and then you sort of get this numbing feeling on your lips from the Szechuan peppercorns and the star anise, and it's just an altogether different chicken wing experience. I mean, if you've ever had chicken wings like the buffalo style, this is completely different. It's sort of a, a dry heat. It's a real explosion of flavor, and it's a great way to use spice in the kitchen. If you want the recipe for these brilliant little chicken wings that are completely different to any other chicken wings you will ever try, you'll get the link in the box below over on my website. Make sure to hit subscribe and of course, check out all of the info on Schwartz in the box below. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious recipes just like this one. And I'll see you soon, goodbye. <laughs> That's really good. Should we take it? I think we may need <laughs>